Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of the Robin Graham Show. I'm solo today and I have to tell you, I was um, doing something this weekend that I don't typically do, but I went and had my nails done and I'll do it once in a while. Very seldom do I actually get my nails painted, but I did on this particular day. And as the esthetician and I, who is my friend Judith, she was telling me about a gift that she recently purchased. And the discussion reminded me of all of you, all of us small business owners and entrepreneurs, and how important it is to stay front of mind and to create client retention strategies. So that's what we're gonna talk about today in this bonus episode. Hey friend. Are you tired of restless nights because you're worried about where and how clients will find you? Do you feel overwhelmed with a to-do list that never seems to get shorter and prevents you from spending more quality time with your family and doing the things you love? Or maybe you lack clarity around your personal brand and what you can do to be more visible and increase awareness of your business. That's where I come in. If you are ready to create sustainable business growth with simplicity, the purpose to result success without social program is for you. Choose between my one-to-one business growth strategy program or a business review clarity and strategy VIP day or the success without social business growth academy. The best part of my program is that you can start at any level and add on or continue to grow with a community of like-minded, impact-driven business owners to create sustainable success and a lifetime of limitless opportunity. You'll experience a customized approach to business growth and implement strategies that are aligned with you and your values so it feels good and is sustainable. Success begins with clarity, and it becomes sustainable when you believe in yourself, the unique gifts God's given you, His power and strength in you, and what's capable for your clients through your work. Are you ready to reduce stress, organize your business, create sustainable growth, and make more money? Schedule a free consultation today, and let's see which program is the best fit for you and your business. Simply go to bit.ly bit.ly forward slash discover with Robin to schedule your free strategy consultation. The link is in the show notes. Welcome to the Robin Graham show, the go-to podcast for Christian entrepreneurs and business owners who want success without social media. Are you tired of hearing you must be on social media posting at just the right time and constantly selling in the DMS to grow a successful business? Are you sick of spending countless hours producing valuable content with little to nothing to show for it? Worse yet, are you fed up with imposter syndrome that inevitably comes from time spent scrolling on social media? No wonder you procrastinate. But I've got great news. There is a better way to grow your business. Hey friend, I'm Robin Graham, a Christian business coach and marketing strategist specializing in growing a successful business without social media. I'm also the author of You, Me, and Anxiety. The Robin Graham Show is a podcast for faith-based business owners and entrepreneurs who want to follow their God-led calling and uncover joy, purpose, and passion in their life and business while having an impact and making money. Each week, I'll teach on how to grow your business without social media, in addition to various topics and strategies that you can employ to do so. Think how-tos like marketing, SEO, personal branding, PR, email marketing, and sales strategies. Tech tools, systems, processes, and automation, the -the behind-the-scenes stuff you need to simplify. And strategies to recognize and navigate mindset barriers and anxiety. I and my guests will give you the best advice to help you create the life and business of your dreams with a healthy dose of Jesus, of course, so that you can build a solid foundation for your business and create a lifetime of limitless earning potential while fulfilling your purpose and creating a ripple effect of good in the world. If you're tired of overthinking and doing all the things with minimal results, you're in the right place. I'm all about simplicity, ease, and grace while having fun, creating an impact, and making money. Subscribe for new content every week. 
And be sure to visit therobingraham.com forward slash resources to download free resources to help you grow your business for limitless earning potential. And if you want, email us at the team at therobingraham.com. We open all of our emails and would love to hear from you. Tell us what your struggles are, your challenges, or just say hi. What if one of your best clients lost your contact information and could no longer buy from you? It happens. Don't let it happen to you. Instead, stay front of mind. To stay front of mind, you need client retention strategies. Email marketing is one client retention strategy that is effective and takes minimal time. So I want to give you an example to demonstrate the need for client retention strategies. During my nail appointment, my friend told me about visiting a local store to buy a plant as a gift. She was going to pot it in this really pretty gold pot that she showed me. The store owner had a limited selection of plants to choose from. She explained that she had lost the contact information for her purveyor of plants and therefore was trying to find another one. Now, one could think a few thoughts on this. For example, how does someone lose contact information in this day and age? Can't she look at the website or for the website of the purveyor? Doesn't she remember the person's name? Well, when humans are involved, there is always room for error. Maybe the purveyor doesn't have a website. If you're asking my opinion, that's a big mistake. Even a one-page search engine optimized website can serve a powerful purpose in helping ideal clients find you online or find you if they've lost your contact information. It's hard to say why the shop owner can't find the contact information or remember the person's name or his company's name, but that is beside the point. The purveyor himself is responsible for the loss of sales. If the purveyor had a website and an email marketing strategy or other client retention strategies in place, he would be front of mind with the shop owner. Maybe she only buys plants twice a year, spring and fall. So there was a gap in the time that they last spoke. And I guess we could understand how she could lose his contact information or forget his name. But now is the time that he should be sending an email to remind his clients that spring plants will soon be available and they should start thinking about ordering them soon. In addition, if he'd focused on building a relationship with the shop owner, she would have remembered his name or at least kept his contact information in a safe place. Relationship marketing is an, another client retention strategy that can be employed. When your customers know you, love you, and trust you, they are more likely to want to buy from you repeatedly or to recommend other people to you. And this is important. Even if you have an active email list, you are constantly posting, your ideal client may not necessarily buy from you again repeatedly right away. However, you're front of mind. And therefore, if someone says they need something that you offer, they will recommend you. So you're you're maintaining the relationship with the ideal client, but you're also opening the door for referrals, which then increases your likelihood of client retention. The other thing to consider is, and this is more for um, service providers, coaches, online businesses versus a shop who needs to order from a purveyor of plants. But if you think about having an upsell or a downsell, so for example, I have my academy, which is a group program. We meet weekly. It's phenomenal. If anyone's interested in that, I welcome you to join us. We talk everything, growing a business, all business strategy. We do incorporate some faith and how we stay aligned to our values and our faith in this day and age as we grow our businesses. But the academy is, is one offer. The next step up from there is the one-to-one -one coaching program. So people could come into my one-to-one -one coaching program, which is a six-month more CEO level intensive where we meet one-on-one -on -one once a week and really dive deep into your business. 
and it's very, very customized to you specifically. So for example, someone could come into the six month program and then if they're not ready to leave, they could stay on as a six month client, renew that, or they could join the academy and then they're in my community long-term and that could work flip too, like opposite. I'm not saying that right. That could work on the reverse as well, where they came in through the academy, discovered they really liked what I was doing, saying, and wanted my eyes on their business and wanted a more customized one-to-one approach. And then they could step up to the six-month program. So that's another option that you could consider. And that is to have, for client retention strategies, is to have more of a funnel approach. And I don't mean marketing funnel. I mean like a step approach that your clients can move from one program, one offering to another, and then continue to work with you. And then of course, like I mentioned before, when you're front of mind, you're front of mind, not only to your people, but also for them to then refer you. So I want to share another story with you. During a recent strategy session with my client, LB, she said she needed an influx of cash this month. I asked her what her client retention strategies were. There was hesitation to answer. I then asked her about her email marketing strategy. Well, you guessed it. She had not been emailing her list and she has a huge list. That's low hanging fruit right there, friends. Many small business owners make this mistake. They either don't build their email list at all or they forget to send emails or are afraid to send emails because then people might unsubscribe. And that is just false thinking. Because if they unsubscribe, they're not your ideal client anyway, but you're staying front of mind with everybody else that does want to hear from you. If you want to stay front of mind so that clients continue to think about you and buy from you or refer you, you have to be visible to them. So the result of my conversation with LB was that she was going to start implementing an email marketing strategy. We decided on one email per week, so not taxing. Each week, the email would focus on one of their unique service options. She has a health and wellness center with a lot of different service options. So within the emails, she would share information from a blog about the topic of focus, a client testimonial, and include a call to action, which would be to invite them to schedule the service. After the first two emails, guess what? She had numerous new appointments booked by former clients who had not been in for quite some time. And thus, she was able to generate an influx of cash into her business. Another client, AF, we'll call her, said this, quote, we implemented, when we implemented her email marketing strategy. And again, she's in the health and wellness space. She's a functional nutrition doctor. She said, the marketing is working. I have had so many old patients whom I haven't seen in years call and schedule and lots of new people too. Most small business owners and entrepreneurs don't have extra time for creating numerous pieces of content. Do you? I don't. To avoid this, start with one piece of long form content and repurpose it. I suggest writing a blog so that you can build on your SEO strategy. Get found by Google and repurpose the content for your email marketing efforts. You draft your email, you get it ready, you schedule it, you send it out, and then you refer them, your readers, to the blog for more details on the topic. So you're driving traffic to your website, which Google loves and will be more likely to rank you because they see people coming for valuable information. You can also repurpose blog and or email content to social media if you're choosing to market on social media platforms. Likewise, Pinterest and LinkedIn are optional platforms for repurposing content. And LinkedIn also allows you to do articles or long form content. So you could use your blog and then put it on LinkedIn. Keep in mind that you can build your business without social media. But if you want to use it, then by all means, repurpose long form content from your website, the platform that you own to save time, energy, and money. If you're not sure how to write search engine optimized blogs, be sure and check out how to blog and reach your ideal audience self-study course. It's $47. It is a no brainer because there is so much valuable information in there that you can take away and start building your blog 
and having Google gravitate towards you and show you in search engine result pages so that more of your ideal clients can find you. Well, that's a wrap for today. I hope you found this information helpful and I encourage you to start staying front of mind so that you can retain clients or reinitiate those relationships so that more clients are coming in. You not only have an influx of cash, but you create sustainable strategies for client flow within your organization, your business, your shop, whatever structure your business is. Have a great day and I will see you all next time. Hey friend, let's face it. Life can be challenging, but when you feel good, life is simply better. Having a holistic approach for navigating stress, sleeping better, and feeling better empowers you to move through life with more positivity. There are a lot of options on the market, many of which are laced with unwanted chemicals, preservatives, or toxins. Where you buy from, where things are made, and how they are grown and manufactured are critical for safety and efficacy. And that is why I chose Green Compass CBD products. Green Compass is grown and manufactured in the U.S. from seed to bottle with QR codes on each product so you can trace the contents to feel safe and secure when using them. CBD is a hot topic because it works. As a former pharmacist, I am extremely particular with what I put in my body, and I can say that Green Compass is a healthy choice for reducing stress, reducing pain, improving focus, and improving sleep. And the best part? Green Compass products are available without traceable amounts of THC. From oils to nano jellies to topicals for pain relief, you'll find a product you won't want to live without. Results are specific to individuals and cannot be guaranteed, but it is sure worth a try. If you're not sure if CBD is right for you, check with your doctor or go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash $10 off your first purchase. The link is in the show notes. And that's a wrap, friends. A heartfelt thank you for being here. I know there are many other ways that you could spend your time, so I truly appreciate you joining me. If you enjoyed this episode and found the information helpful, please take a moment to subscribe and leave a rating and review. Ratings and reviews are how we grow and get amazing guests and how more people find the show. A kind review would mean the world to me. Oh, and don't forget to share the episode with someone that it will help. And let's connect. You can find me on Pinterest and LinkedIn as therobingram.com. And be sure and visit the website, therobingram.com forward slash resources for a plethora of resources to help you grow your business for long-term success. Until next time, remember to smile.